All right, all right, all right. So I am, hold on a second, long call, hello. I'm at the uh, office, I'm about to go live. I'm, I'm actually already live, live, live right now for the three days challenge. Well, I'm gonna go live. Bye. All right, Jenna. Hello. Hey, how's it going? Good, how are you? Good, happy uh, Tuesday. You too. I appreciate that you're taking time to jump on to do this for everybody. Yeah, definitely. So, uh, Jenna, we got about nine minutes before we start, so I'm just going to kind of welcome everybody in. Um, as you guys are coming on, I have one of my team members, Jenna, is going to show you guys today some really, really cool stuff. And it's not about, for me, it's not about just you guys just sitting there watching, but we're actually going to do this together because I believe in taking the action right away. So comment in and let me know where you're coming in from. All right, so coming in the chat, let me know where you're coming in from. Let's rock and roll. Brian, thank you for hosting this, Brian. Absolutely. Also, too, is you guys, make sure you think, uh, think uh, Jenna, because I couldn't have done this without her. Um, also, too, this is my very first time doing this kind of thing. And, uh, you know, Jenna, when, when I first brought it up, actually, we were going to do 30 day, 30 days challenge. But my team was like calling, no, no, no. Nobody commit to a 30 days challenge. <laughs> Nobody can commit for 30 days. So um, so they were like, Kong, can you do it in three days? And I said, okay, well, we're going to try to jam pack as much knowledge, as much information in this challenge to you and trying to jam pack everything in three days. So I do want to let you guys know this, that we, me and Jen is going to give you guys the knowledge and the information. All right. But the hustle is sold separately. All right, it's, it's, it's not just what you do during this training, but what you do afterward. And in this three days training, we're going to spend like an hour together, right? So it's going to be today, tomorrow, and Thursday, same time. It's going to be at noon. And uh, hopefully for whoever it is that's going to take massive action, I really hope that this three days will see one, some of you put a property under contract. That's the ultimate goal. The ultimate goal is seeing you putting a prop in a contract and hopefully maybe on the third day, get find a buyer for it. That, that, that would be absolutely mind blown. So, um, Jenna, I don't know if you have anything you want to say. I think that's very, very realistic because my background, I was typically more of a rehabber in my past. Like I've been in real estate going on 11 years and now I've actually shifted gears and I'm more of a wholesaler nice. and there was parts of it where I was a little bit scared because I was like, you know, I haven't really done a whole lot of wholesales, just a little bit. And so I like dabbled into it and just dove into it starting last year. And, and when I leveraged the software, cause this is the same software that I use in my own business. I'm blown away at the results I get. And then I help other investors all across the country. I just had a lady the other day. I was just showing her how to use the software. She did a, she skipped trace a list of 25 people, was able to find a deal. And her, one, her, one of her contractors is actually going to buy it. She's going to make $20,000 on it. And she spent like $3 to skip trace the list. So <laughs> when I say that, like, if anybody can do it, anybody can do it. So I'm super excited to be able to share this finally with, with your team and, and, and all your group here. So really excited to hang out with you. Awesome. Awesome. So we are going to start in about six minutes. So the next question I got for all of you that are jumping on, all right, is that would you invest $100 to potentially make ten to $20,000 a month? So that's my question for all of you right now. Once again, we're going to start in about six minutes, all right? We are early. So I want to know is are you willing – because when I post that video, Jenna, on the – you know, on YouTube or, you know, Instagram, TikTok, I get people who are like, oh, my God – you know, I knew it. It takes money to make money. I was like, dude, if you can't, and, and a lot of them be like, oh my God, a hundred bucks. Kong, I don't even have a hundred dollars. And you know, to me, Jenna, if you, if you can't come up with a hundred dollars, right, to invest in a systems, right, to invest, invest in a software that potentially you can make 10 to 20,000 a month off of, then I believe that you don't have what it takes. You know, my whole thing is, Jenna, you, you either making money or you're making excuses. 
I think too many people coming up, like they say they want something, but honestly, when you put them to the test, like what they need to do to get there, majority of them will start coming up with excuses. A weekend, they'll be like, oh, hey, Kong, something come up. I just can't do it anymore, right? It, it just means that the goal that you the goal that you set for yourself, whatever it is that you want to accomplish, it's just not your priority. Because if it's your priority, I can almost promise you that you will find a way to make it happen. Like if your priority was to this year to be like, Kong, I want to become financially free. I want to build a wholesaling business so I can escape my J-O the B. Right. If that was your if that was your priority, I promise you every day you wake up, that's all you think about. You'll be like, dude, OK, so I'm making five thousand a month right now. How can I replace that one deal a month? Spend a spend one hundred dollars to make ten, twenty thousand a month. And once again, you know, I, I. If you cannot come up with that amount, then you then, then I think that you need, really need to look at your priorities, number one. And, and maybe just be content working at a J-O to B. Just, just be content. Don't try to be an entrepreneur. Don't try to start your own business because you honestly don't have what it takes and you're just wasting time. And I'm here just to save you that time. Jenna, making it easy. Making it easy. So Jenna, like, what has been your experience when you're working with people that actually got the results? It just, and it, it's not rocket science. It's just like you said, it's consistency. It's somebody that's doing the things that other people don't want to do, and they're doing them on a consistent basis. And, and, when, and whenever you're giving people advice, it's not like you're telling them to do these far-fetched things like, guys, we're going to learn how to fly today. Yeah. You're just telling them how, how, to, how to make money. And obviously, somebody like you knows how to make money. And obviously, you're going to be the type of person that's going to be able to share that wisdom with somebody else. And it's not, it's not like, oh, my gosh, guys, you have to invest... 12 hours a day, every single day, you know, devote an hour to it and, yep. and cold call for an hour a day. And people will say, well, I have a full-time job. I have this, I have that. I mean, I have a family. I have multiple businesses. I'm here hanging out with you guys. And so my rehabbing business, my wholesaling business, that's more of a part-time thing. So really I have full-time other obligations and I do this part-time and I'm still able to, to divide my time and do that because like you said, it's a priority. It's not an excuse for me. So I'm going to devote at least an hour every single day to doing the things that I need to do to be able to reach my goals. And when it comes to goals, I mean, a lot of people sit down in the beginning of end of, end of the year or beginning of January and they say, OK, these are all the things that I want to do this year. But then they don't follow up on anything. And you have to be able to have those little bite sized pieces every single day, every single quarter, so that that way you're able to accomplish those long term goals. And Really, I mean, it's 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 not, it's a no brainer. It's just doing the things that you advise them to do, going in there, finding the different motivated sellers, because the bulk of what we're looking for in the software, other than active listings, everything is unlisted, unadvertised properties, all off market properties. So we're in there finding all the properties. So there's not the excuse of, oh, there's no deals out there. I can't find any deals. Well, really. Everything other than active listings that we're going to look for, nobody else is going to be able to find them but us. So we will find those deals. And then it comes to taking action. And then people say, well, I don't know what to say when I call them. Yes, you do. Pick up the phone and ask them if they want to sell their property. It's really as simple as that. And if they're going to, people may yell at us. They may cuss us out. They may tell us that, you know, don't call me ever again. But there will be the people that say, that says yes. Thank you. Thank God that you called me. I, I've been needing to sell this property. I've been talking about this property and thank goodness that your postcard arrived or your phone call came. And so then we're just going to analyze that property. We can pull our comps within our software. We're going to, we're going to be able to do a lot of those different things. And then from there, we're going to obviously be able to liquidate that property. So a lot of the things that everybody's scared about, all the bottlenecks where everybody's getting held up, this is where it's going to stop here because this is the solution place. Woo, Jenna, I love it. Okay, for everyone who's just joined, we're going to start in about a minute or two. All right, I just want everybody to settle in. Um, also, too, is, uh, you know, this is my first time doing it, me and Jenna. So I want to make sure, you know, if there's anything that we are, like, messing up on or this and that, just please be patient with us, all right? We promise to deliver. You're not going to give me the 100 bucks. I know someone comments, like, where do I send my $100? Not to me, all right? So 
I got this guy, Jenna. This guy literally comment on my um he DM me on Instagram. He said, Kong, man, I love I I would love to join, but I have to work. So I respond back and I say, Well, missing missing one day of work, how much is that gonna cost you at your J O to B? Let's just say, let's just say two hundred dollars. You know what? Even five hundred dollars. Taking one day off of work. Let's just say that you missed out on 500 bucks. You know, you know, for not being here, you know what he's missing out on? $20,000. So the guy is really stepping over dollars for penny. He's so worried about, oh my gosh, man, I got to go to work today. But do you missing out on an opportunity of a lifetime to freaking change your life? So I text back and I said, bro, I, exactly what I said. I said, so how much would it cost you to miss work today? And then I say, well, by missing this, this opportunity, this is how much it's going to cost you. He said, Kong, are you going to do this again? I said, dude, no. I said, dude, I've never done this again. This is my first time. We'll see how it goes. But if I'm going to do it again, what if I do it at the same time? Are you going to come back with the same effing excuses? Once again, dude, you're either, dude, if, when it's your priority, you will make whatever happens to be here. All right. So my goal for 2024, you know, even when I started my social media six years ago, my goal is to help all of you. I love creating content, sharing what I've learned, help other entrepreneur hustler, right? I want, I want, dude, I want to like attract go-getter, people who are driven, ambitious, to quit the J-O, the B, and build financial freedom. That's my ultimate goal. Now, whether you, hit, now whether you get to the millionaire status or not, that's up to you. Right, but at least get you to quit the J O the B, all right, and actually become financially free. Cause I remember waking up at five o'clock in the morning, going to there, dude. I did not like it at all, and I said, God, if I ever make it one day, I'm gonna go back, no gatekeeping, and I'm gonna show everybody how to make that money. <laughs> <laughs> so, Jenna, no further ado. It is twelve o two. So let's get rocking and rolling. So here's what all I'm right. gonna have Jenna do. Is she going to show you where to place that $100 right now? And this is a software. And I'll have Jenna take over, walk you guys through it. But not just that, Jenna. I would love to get everyone that is ready. Give them some time. Go there. Show them. Sign up. Here's where you pay. Whatever it is you need to do. All right? So kind of guide them through. And, and every one of you, open your laptop, your computer. And if you are ready, let's do this together. Take it over, Jenna. All right. I'm going to turn my screen share on. So let's let's see here. Let's Allow to, to share window, allow to share screen. All right. So let's and you see guys make sure gonna... you let us know, right? If everything is good. But this okay. is doing is this is not just listening. You're not just watching. You're actually do. We're doing this together. OK, does it you see my screen? Um, all I see is your face. But oh, it's a okay. but it's a good screen. <laughs> all right. Let me see here. Let me yep. turn this off. All right, so let me try this again. So sure. we'll do, we'll share window. Okay. We'll do. All right. So once again, this is this is where your investment of that hundred bucks is going to go. All right. Let me see here. Let's see. Allow to share window. Let's see. We'll share this window. Is it sharing my screen yet? Uh, not yet. We haven't seen. Nope. Don't see anything yet. Once again, guys, just be patient. Me, me and Jenna, this is like kind of our first time doing this. I've never done this three days challenge where I really deep dive into this, like really walk you through doing it together. I've never done this. So please be patient. But earlier when Jenna talking about making progress, I think that is extremely important. When you see yourself making progress every single day, dude, it gets super exciting because you know that you're moving in the right direction. All Still right, trying to figure see. it out? Yeah, I don't know why it's just sharing hmm. me. Hmm, okay. Don't see it, huh? Okay. Take yeah, your never... time. They said take your time, Jenna. We'll, we'll get this thing figured out. So at least you yeah. guys, op okay, so open up your laptop, open up your iPad, your computer, log into, go to this website, 
Okay, let, uh, leave, let, let me type it in, and then Jenna will uh, walk you through once she gets clogged in here. Feelsformenow.com. Go to that website. Oh, shoot. Okay, hold on a second. I don't know. Do we need to bring, um, do we need to bring, uh, what's Angie on? I mean, it's as it says to share my screen, and I'm sharing my screen, and it's oh. only sharing my face, unfortunately. Weird. Uh, um, turn off. That's me. Turn off screen sharing. Uh, um, let me call Angie really quick. Maybe she knows. Okay. Okay. Let me let me call Angie. Let me call Angie real quick here. Oh, shoot. Angie's good at this. Uh, okay. Patient, patient, patient. Here we go. Uh, Angie, okay, so me and Jenna are on the uh, webinar gym right now, and Jenna's having trouble sharing her screen. Do you know why? Um, I'm not sure. She should have full access like you. Okay. Hmm. I'm not sure. Yep, you should have full access like me, Jenna, so you should be able to share it. Yeah, when I do, it's just showing my face, though, not my Weird. screen. Um, one thing that I can do is maybe if I log in on uh, Chrome versus Safari, does that make oh. a difference? Does that make it? Yeah, that does. Okay. You can All right. Let me come back in. One yes, second. yes, yes. That does. Okay. Thanks. Well, right. I just want to open it. <laughs> okay. Sorry. I'll be right back in. Okay. Okay. I will, I will hold down the force once again, once again, you guys, this is the first time that, uh, um, that I'm doing this. So if there's a little mix miss things like this that pops up i apologize um but please be patient um i promise you that we're going to deliver so much information to you that you're going to walk away that you're going to have the confidence and the belief that you can do this i think the most important thing to you know succeeding in anything that you want to do is that you must have the belief and the confidence Uh, okay. Wait, wait a second. I don't know what just happened. Are, okay. Are, are we still here? Okay. I'm waiting for Jenna. I'm signed up for do machine now. Okay, good. So, uh, I'm sorry. It's not do machines. Um, William. Yeah, you, you're good, man. So for those of you, if you haven't signed up, probably the best thing to do right now as we're waiting for Jenna is go ahead and sign up, uh, deals for me now.com. It is 97 bucks a month deal for me now. All right. And then Jenna will be able what she's going to jump on is she's going to walk you through, right, to pull the list step by step, and we're going to do it together. Hello. You got it? Nancy seeing you here. All right, let's try this. Okay. All right, let's see it. All right. You see my screen? Yes. Here we go. Oh, okay, so. Yes. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. That, that's not anybody else, not us, though. Okay, good. Okay. So. The site that you, for you guys to go on to, so if you can still see what we're sharing here. So we're going to go to deals. Um, we're going to go to for me. I think it's, yeah. I don't have it saved on this one. Wait, I had it over here. All right. Let me see what I had over here. Dealsformenow.com. So let me pull this up. So we're you're seeing my screen good? Yep. All right. See, nothing can hold us back. All right. We just yep, yep, we just yep. had to really we had to build that suspense just for a second. Yeah. So if you go to dealsformenow.com, and so this is going to be the site for you guys to get everything rolling. And I don't know why Safari would give me an issue, but here we are. So we're going to scroll down. You're going to see everything about how to all the things that are included. And so when we go to the bottom, so you can see that there's going to be different places you can get the software. And so you're going to see the the options that you have available. So wait you're going to see that we're going to. Wait, 
Good. I- I'm sorry, Jenna. Um, for some reason, when you going, were you going, were were you scrolling da- up and down on the website? Because right now, all we're seeing is we just seeing, we're just seeing this. I'll, I'll send it to you. So your screen doesn't move. That's what I'm saying. No, it's not. Okay. No, it's not. Okay, so we'll share this tab instead. All right, let me see. Oh, okay. All right. Yep, 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 right. yep. There we go. Sorry, we're just okay. So we're gonna be over here. So you can see here at the at the bottom or wherever you want to click because you can you can purchase it throughout. But you're gonna see that this is where you're gonna go to dealsformenow.com. And then you're gonna see that there's gonna be the packages that you have access to. So if you're looking for a standard package, this is gonna include all of our eight different lead types. We're gonna talk about artificial intelligence, and then you're gonna have access to download leads outside of the system if you want to. You don't even need to download them outside of the system because you can do direct mail and skip tracing right in the system. You're gonna be able to comp, and then we're gonna have our light CRM, which is basically gonna give us access to organizing all of our buyers, all of our sellers, all of our properties, so staying organized, all that kind of stuff. So what you'll do is you'll just go to get started. And so in here, you're just gonna type in your information and continue, and then you're just gonna go through and you're gonna purchase your your package. Now, depending on the version that you're looking for, so obviously this is gonna be our standard package. Now, if you're looking for something that's a little higher level, because there may be times where you may say, I want to have additional lead types. I wanna be able to have not only artificial intelligence just in one area, one zip code, but I wanna turn it on for my entire county. Once I show it to you, then you'll be able to see a little bit of the difference. This is an investment in yourself and an investment in your business. The way that I look at it is if you say, if you're ready to do this, like if you're an investor and you say, I've been, I've been saying that I want to do this. I want to, I want to leave my job. I want to have financial freedom. I want to take care of myself and my family. Then you could, then you could select this option here. This is going to give you some additional features. So you're going to have additional lead types. The artificial intelligence is one of the most phenomenal things that you guys are gonna see. And I'm gonna explain a little bit about what that is as we get into it. But then this is gonna be your option. Now, if you want to save a little bit of money on this, cause you're gonna see this is gonna be a monthly fee. If you want to purchase it for the year, you're gonna have a one-time fee. And then with that, it breaks down to a little bit less what it would be every single month. It is a one-time fee, a one-time investment, but it will break down to less than what you just saw on the previous screen. So if you're looking to do something, you know, our basic leads, our standard leads with the artificial intelligence versus 20 different lead types. So then I'm going to show you what that looks like. So let me switch over to here. I'm going to share this tab. All right. I think I got this tab rolling. You see this one moving? Yep. Are we good? Oh man, see, it only takes me a second. I'll learn it. It only takes me a second. I'm more of a Safari kind of girl, but I'll, I'll ah. learn the, the whole the Chrome situation. Okay, so guys, this is the software. So once you get your, once you purchase, you're gonna get an email with a username and a password. Make sure you check your spam because sometimes it can go to your spam. So if you don't see that within you know, a day, definitely reach out and, and let us know. But this is the main user interface. This is one of the most powerful software tools that you're going to have and be able to leverage as a real estate investor. This is designed by investors for investors. This is something that I leverage in my own in my own business every single day. There is not a deal that goes by that I don't run it through my software, that I'm not looking, I'm not pulling comps, I'm not saving it into my database. This is what I leverage in my business. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to our left side navigation. So you'll see here it's going to open and close. And then we're going to go into our lead pipes and we're going to look at our property leads. This area, guys, this is like your own personal Google search for all nationwide, all available properties you have access to right here at your fingertips. So what we're going to do is we can just come in here and it's just as simple as just saying, I want this state or I want this county or I want this city, putting in your specific geographic location, and then we're going to be able to go from there. So once you do that, then we're going to come in and you're going to see the lead types. 
Now the version that I'm logged into is the, the premium version, the one that you saw that was for $1.99 a month. But if you did the version that was for the, the, the lesser price, you're gonna see, you'll see these different lead types. You will see absentee owner. And as you hover over any of them, you're gonna see it's gonna define it for you. So if you're not sure what an absentee owner, somebody who owns a property that they're not personally living in, you're gonna see things like active listings, you're gonna see cash buyers, delinquent tax activity, which is one of my absolute favorite lists to target. You're gonna have free and clear, the different equity positions and upside down. <clears throat> now, if you invested in the higher tier package, congratulations, and that is fantastic. So you're gonna see all of those in addition to things like active, active investor own, board investor, flipped properties. You're gonna see foreclosures, long-term owner. This is kind of like our tired landlords that are out there. Potentially inherited properties, pre-foreclosures, vacancy. This is gonna be one of the hottest lists that we can target and zombie properties. And this is such a cool one. And again, you can hover over it. It's gonna define it, zombie property property that started that pre-foreclosure, the foreclosure process, something got held up in it, it's, it came to a halt, the person left, so the house is sitting there vacant, and now it kind of seems like nobody owns that property. So these are a great property to target because the person still owns it, it's sitting there vacant, a lot of times they don't even know that they own it. So they've already mentally detached from that property. So super, super hot list that we're gonna target. Now we have the different type of owners. So if you wanna focus solely on individuals who own them, or if you're wanting to target businesses or LLCs, any sort of banking or financial institutions, governments and trusts, and then the type of properties that you're looking for. So if you only want single family, if you only want land, if you only want mobile homes, the sky is the limit, whatever you're looking for, this software will find it for us. So we can come in here, we can just type in a, a particular area wherever we want to invest, and then we can hit search. So let me remove this. And then so it's going to give me all the properties in the Cleveland, Ohio area. Now you will notice on the bottom of all these properties, there's going to be three color coded numbers. And this is the hot, this is the AI, our sellability score. So if you did if you did the package that was the, um, the 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 basic package where you had it for if you if you recall it was for the ninety seven dollars a month if you saw that you're going to have access to um, just one AI zip code so you can come in here you can specify just one zip code and guys you can change that zip code every month if you wanted to choose it. Also, if you selected that one and you say, "Man, I wish I would have really selected that second tier package." You can still come over here. It looks like a little, uh, looks like a rocket ship. You can come over here and you can upgrade and you can increase your artificial intelligence. You can get a whole county. You can buy, even if you did the second tier package and you're like, now I want to get an additional county or actually I want to buy my whole state or you can buy the entire country. The version I'm in right now, I have nationwide access. So there's nowhere in the country that I can't go that I don't know the sellability score. But to explain to you what that is, because obviously AI is such a buzz term these days. So what AI is, and so what we've done as a company, and it's, and it's actually, it's a little bit creepy, but a whole lot of cool. So what we've done as a company is we've purchased over 40 years worth of real estate sales data. So every house that has sold in the country since the 1980s until now, what we've done is we own all of the financial information on every seller of every property and all of the property details. And we're talking billions and billions of data points, things like how much money do people make? Uh, what kind of cars do they drive? What magazines do they subscribe to? Were they late on credit card payments? Did somebody in the household that was a main income generator die? All these different components, as well as the property. Like how old was that house? What, did it have a screened in porch? Did they have a pool? All of these different parameters we're looking at. And so it's almost like we play a detective and we say, okay, these houses sold in the past, but what happened? What led up to that person selling their property? And we almost break it down. We take all of those billions of data points, we put it into our genetic algorithm, and then we're gonna cross reference it with all of the people of today. All of these different people that come up, 230,000 different people, we're cross referencing it. And since history repeats itself, we're looking for trends. And what we're able to do is we're able to provide a sellability score on how likely we predict with our software 
that these properties will sell in the next 90 days in three different ways. So the first one in green you'll see in retail. This is going to be how likely are we predicting that this property on a scale of zero to a thousand, a thousand is the best, on how likely we predict that this property will sell in the next 90 days. Now there's there's indications that there's that they need to sell. It could be there's a divorce going on. It could be that children moved out and they're going to college. There's a lot of different things, but it's not necessarily financially motivated. So it's going to be more towards that list price, more towards the MLS type of number. And this is great if you're looking for more listings as an agent. So there's a lot of reasons that you would target that one. The second one, the rental number, this is how likely are we predicting that this property is going to sell in the next 90 days, potentially at a discounted more towards that landlord buyer. Now, this is our system is indicating that either this property is currently a rental or it's in a market where there's a lot of rental opportunity. So if you're looking to bring on more rentals in your business, this is going to be the number you want to target. But my favorite is in purple, our wholesale number. How likely are we predicting that this property is going to sell in the next 90 days at a discounted wholesale type of, of a price? Now, this is great that we have 230,000 properties, but unfortunately, less than 1% of these people on this list probably even want to sell, especially in the next 90 days. So it's almost like we need some sort of a magic sifter where we can come in here, we can sift through these properties and find the ones that are the motivated seller and hand it to us on a silver platter. And that's exactly what the AI does. That's how powerful. Now, if you don't have any sort of AI, you're obviously going to have all these different people on the list. And it's going to be up to us to kind of manually figure out how do we how do we sift through them. But the AI does it for us. So we can come into the AI score. And it says on here, we're going to focus on our wholesale score. And I'm going to tell the system, anything above a 500 is worth marketing to. So I'm going to say, give me a minimum of 500, 500 to 1,000. Give me all of those ones on a silver platter. And instantly it shows me 185,000 properties. And that's probably still overkill for a lot of us to do our marketing. A lot of people for us to reach out to. So let's be a little bit more adventurous. Let's say 800. Now, remember, 1,000 is, is the highest that we can go. We Wait, still have uh, 5,000. Go ahead. Yeah, Jenna, sorry. sorry I come in and interrupt. I want all no. of you, like, are you guys are you guys doing this as Jenna is showing you how to do it? Like, I, I want to make sure that you are actively, actively doing this. So you go in, you pick your city, you pick your county, whatever it is. But I'm hoping that you go through this as Jenna is going to go through this. So that way you're actively doing this at the same time. Go ahead, Jenna. So, so yeah. Jenna, make, so make sure um, if anything, if you can slow down a little bit, just to touch base with everyone. Make sure that they, you know, that they're getting it, that they're doing it. Because I know some of us are not not very com computer tech savvy. Yeah, and and we can do follow up calls. We can get together on a regular basis, and we can really break it down on a regular basis too. So basically, all that I did just to kind of start over. This is my main user interface. On my left side navigation, I'm gonna focus on my lead pipes because I need to find all of my leads that are out there. So I'm gonna come into my property leads and you can just do you can do it just by one city. You can put in a zip code. So you can just say, um, I'm gonna redeem my artificial intelligence credit. So if you are going, if, if you did select the basic package, you will get a credit for one zip code that you can redeem to turn that sellability score on. Remember, you still have nationwide access to all of the leads out there. It's just the sellability score that we're turning on for that zip code. So you'll see kind of where it says get started. You're going to see that you're going to have a credit. So you'll go in there and you'll redeem that credit. It's very simple. You'll see you're just going to add it to your cart and it will show up and it will be it will show up for free. You'll just redeem that zip code credit. And then you'll come in here and then you can just put in your zip codes. So you can say maybe this one, maybe you said you wanted to focus on, you know, Jacksonville, um, say it was Jacksonville, Florida. Maybe this is your area. Maybe this is the one you redeemed. So I'll select that that zip code. And then I'm just going to go to search. If you notice, I don't have to select any of the lead types for right now. I can do it all right here in the system because you can see I have those three different drop downs right here, just like I did before. And so it's giving me in this area. If you notice, if you don't have the sellability score turned on in, in a particular region, this first property that comes up, you'll see how it has no numbers. For whatever reason, this first one doesn't have any numbers, but this is what it will show if you don't have the sellability score. 
The rest of them, you can see that they all have the sellability score turned on. So you'll see those different numbers. So when we come in here, we're just gonna focus on that AI score. And remember, again, you can focus on whatever one is your niche. If you want rental properties, if you want more listings as a real estate agent, I'm also an agent myself. So you can come in here and I focus on the wholesale score because I want the cheap ones. I want the ones that are at a wholesale price. And I'm going to tell the system, give me any properties above a score of a 500 and above. Guys, anything above a 500 is worth marketing to. It has an increased chance of a sellability um, for, it to, for it to sell in the next 90 days. Now, when we go for a 500 and above, we still have over 6,000 different properties. That may be too many for you to market to. If you're working full time and maybe you don't have a huge marketing budget and you don't have the ability to cold call for you know, hours at a time, that's completely fine. So we can narrow the search down a little bit more. So we can come in here and say, OK, system, give me the properties that have a score of maybe a 700 and above. So you'll see it's going to break it down 323 different properties. Now, this is a great bite size list and you can come in and you can make it to where it gives you the, the highest number first. So we can go in and we can sort it by the wholesale score and we can say, give me the, the highest numbers first. So you can see we have some that are 993 like this person right here. For whatever reason, they are a, a great candidate for us to reach out. However, there are some that you'll come down to. Like, let's look at the second one here. Um, we see this one on Perry Street. We can see that this person bought it in cash. They own it free and clear. We may say to ourselves, like, why are they on this list? Like, I mean, they don't they don't even look like somebody that may want to sell. Like, how are they in financial distress? We don't know. But the thing is, legally, we can't tell you why they're on the list. The only thing, because our information is so invasive, the only thing that we can do legally is provide you with a score. Because behind the scenes, this person may be laid on credit card payments. They may have had a main income generator of that household that's just passed away. They may be going through some tough situations. We don't know those kind of things, but our artificial intelligence does. And it's basically lighting it up in red flashing lights saying, you need to reach out to this person. And we can even go further. So if you say, you know, 262 people, you know, maybe that's a little much for you. I mean, it's not a very big list, but let's go. Let's go higher. Let's go to like a, a score of 900 and above. Now, one of the coolest things, guys, when we have a list and we're not leveraging any artificial intelligence, we have about a less than a one percent chance if we just have just a huge list of people and we're going to market to everybody. Whenever we have a score of 900 and above, we go from a less than 1% success rate to a 16.3% likelihood that the people on our list will sell in the next 90 days. Now we can't, we're not gonna guarantee that because what we do as a company is we do our own look back analysis and our nationwide average is a 16.3. You may have more than that. You may have 20% of the people on your list will sell, but I mean, hopefully they sell to us. But what we do is with our own look back analysis is we pull our own data, we wait 90 days, and then we cross reference what sold versus what we predicted. And as a nationwide average, 16.3. So what that means in English is if I have a list of 100 people, most likely if I have the score of the 900 and above, most likely 16 to 17 of the people on that list of 100 will sell in the next 90 days. Something like this one, I'm not a math scholar, but we're gonna have probably close to 40 people on this list, 40 couple people on this list will end up selling their property, most likely. It could be up to 50 people, it could be 30 people, but our nationwide average is 16.3. That is just unbelievable results because if you can market to 241 people and have an opportunity for potentially 40 of them or so, for around 40 of these people that will sell, now, hopefully they sell to us. Hopefully our marketing has reached them. Hopefully that we've done a good enough job at calling this person or doing direct mail and reaching out to this person to really be able to, to communicate with this person. But our goal is to be able to have this high sellability score. In the AI, this is just one of the components of the software. This is just one thing. It's almost like we can make different recipes and do different things. This is just one recipe card. 
Now we can come in and we can open up things a little bit bigger. Like if you want to go to like, let's say that you want to open up and you want to go to an entire county, because one of the things, if you do the, the upgraded, uh, the upgraded version, the one that was $199 a month or the, the one that the monthly pro, the one I showed you earlier, if you did that one, you're not going to have just one artificial intelligence zip code. You're going to get an entire county turned on. So if you have a whole county, your artificial intelligence will be there for the entire county. So we can let's go in. Helps if I can spell. Um, let's go to Cuyahoga County. Let's we're going to go to uh, we're going to go to Ohio here and okay, we're just so, going to turn on. Go ahead. Uh, yep. I'm sorry, Janet. So once again, um, let's take a pause. That way, all of you, if you have any questions right now, you're pull. I'm hoping that you're pulling your own list. All right. And so I'm hoping every one of you are pulling your list because Jenna's going to walk you through now that you pull your own list, what's going to be the next step. And I know a lot of you in here also comment about, hey, Kong, this software and that software. I'm not here to tell you. I'm not here to talk down at any software. I'm here to tell you that this is the software that my team been using and it's been working really well for us. And I've been getting really good results from it. I don't see there's any other software out there that be able to use AI like this software does. All right. So I'm not here to talk down about any software, right? There's a bunch of software out there. I'm only here to share with you what I'm using and what's working, right? Our most recent deal that we just got under contract that we're going to sell that we're going to make $25,000 on coming from here. So that's all I can tell you. So it's up to you whether you want to use it, you don't want to use it. It's up to you. And a lot of you, if you don't want, like this is, it, see, when you're able to pay for a software, it doesn't matter. You can be on the beach, and you just need to go in there, pull a list, skip trace. You can call them. You can send them to your VA. Your VA can call them. This is how you're able to wholesale virtually. Now, if you don't got any money, you can go and drive for dollars, right? But for those of you who – now, this is something I do want to say, though. This is just day one. We're only about 40 minutes in. Right. So Jenna's going to walk you through exactly what today is, what's the actionable step that you need today, which already you need to already pull in the list, identify the market that you're in already, pull the list. And then Jenna's going to walk you through right exactly what to do with that list. Day two, we're going to talk about the, you know, the negotiating, talk to seller, putting that proper and making an offer. All right. And on the last day, I'm going to show you exactly how to go in and actually have to find cash buyer and build up your cash buyer list nationwide. So there's a lot to this. Once again, we're, we're jam-packing all this into three days of actionable steps that you can take and walk away with and implement. Now, nothing works if you don't. So you can sit there and make all kinds of excuses you want, right? I don't care about those people. I am care about the people that are here for the knowledge, the information, and are going to take action on it. So I'm not here to compare any software, once again. But if for everyone that sticks with me all the way until the end, the third day, I got something very, very special for those of you who stay all the way into day number three. We're only spending one hour each day, but day number three, I got something very special for you for those of you who actually stay all the way. Go ahead, Jenna. Yeah, so I was reading some of the some of the comments and people were saying about wanting to learn how to wholesale. And this is exactly what we're doing, because when you talk about wholesaling, I like to look at wholesaling almost like a, a little wooden stool with three legs because there's three components of wholesaling. Obviously, we have to have good quality leads coming in. That's going to be our main component of it. Then it's going to be the art of negotiating, which is going to be what you're going to be talking, I would assume, tomorrow, where, where you're going to figure out how do we reach out to these people? How do we lock up these deals? Because leads are great and, and everything is fine. But if you don't have the ability to analyze those properties, you don't know how to lock them down, then what good is the good quality leads coming in? And then the third is what you're going to talk about on the third day is a good quality buyer's list. If you have leads coming in and you can get everything under contract, but nobody to wholesale it to, the whole thing falls apart. It's like kicking out one of the legs on a tripod. It's going to topple over. And so that's why, I mean, you can puke to everybody in an hour and teach everybody how to, there's no way that we can entirely teach somebody how to wholesale in one hour or in 10 minutes. So the thing that we're showing you now is where do you find the leads? Where do you find these different properties? And so I'm going to do my screen sharing again here. Let's go back to my lead pipes. Here we go. Let's go back. Man, look at that. You, you can teach old dogs new tricks. So, <laughs> so, what we, so, so what we can do here. So we have the AI. We can, turn the, we can turn this off and let's focus on something other than AI because the system is so powerful for our premium leads. 
we can do so many powerful things. Our goal with this software, some of you are saying, what are the numbers? What are these numbers about? These are our artificial intelligence sellability score. How likely on a score of a scale of zero to a thousand, thousand is the best. How likely are these properties to sell at, at, a, at a particular price over the next 90 days? So this is just one component of the software. I'm going to show you guys one of the hottest lists that I've targeted in a in the my probably my history of real estate. My my go to list always used to be absentee owners. However, mm. what I started focusing on now and, and absentee is still one of my favorite lists, but it's not as hot as is the one I'm going to show you. So what I do is I focus on delinquent tax activity, pretty self-explanatory, somebody who's not paying their taxes. You can focus on any type of owner. I like to focus on individuals who own their property. My niche is single family properties. Unless I'm looking for a rental property, I just want a single family property. Yes, I can buy multifamily. I can knock out the center walls and make it into one house, but this, I'm just going easy here. I just want single family. I want individual. I want delinquent tax activity. If you go into this more tab, I'm going to show you some different things with this more tab. But as you go down, we're going to go all the way to the bottom and we're going to focus on out of state absentee owner. So you can imagine who this person is. And then if we still have a big list, like we're close to 3000 people, we can come in here. And if we can sprinkle on vacancy on top of that, 187 people, this is going to be one of the hottest lists that you guys can target. And when you call these people, it's not going to be one of those, please, please, please sell me your house. It's going to be one of those where they're like, thank God you called me because let's let's get out our crystal ball and try to try to showcase what this person looks like. This is a person who individually owns this property. They don't live in it. And in fact, nobody lives in it. And they don't even live in the same state as this property. If we're talking about Cuyahoga, this is Ohio. It's wintertime. Pipes are freezing and breaking. Utilities are an all-time high. And they're behind on taxes. This is going to be one of the most motivated seller lists that we can target. And we narrowed it down from hundreds of thousands of people in a matter of seconds to 187 different people. Yes, you can come in here and you can then add in artificial intelligence on top of that. So if you say, give me the high sellability score, you can do that. But what we're going to do is we're going to take this list of 100. And I'll go through. Let me just go through it one more time just to awesome. show you what I did. So I'm going to come in here. I'm going to focus Wait, uh, on delinquent tax activity. Good. Uh, yeah. So I want to show, I want to share with you guys, for those of you. So what Jenna is doing right now is she list stack, which means if you have a, if you guys have a very tight budget, if you can't target 6,000 people or 26,000 people, what Jenna is showing you here is she list stack. She basically make the, the, the list very big to very, very small where they're now they're, they're basically having multiple pinpoint, right? Tax delinquent and the property's vacant. All right. So she's list deck. For those of you who don't understand, that's what Jenna's doing. Go ahead. Yep. And so I'm focusing and I could I could do absentee owner here, but I want to be so granular that I want them to be not only an absentee owner, but I don't want them to live in the same state. Now, if you want the list bigger, you know, if you say, all right, well, 187 people once we add our vacancy on here that's maybe a little small for me. Well, then we can come in here and we can throw on the in-state as well. And it beefs it up a little bit so you can get in-state. There's nothing, I mean, this is still gonna be a super hot list. I mean, cause we have in-state and out of state. So we're just adding in some extra flavor to it. So, but what I've found is that a lot of the people and, I, and I'm not saying that these results will be your results but when I was calling, this is the same list that I pull in my own area. I was able to wholesale a property just uh, probably a week or two ago. I made over $18,000 on that property just by targeting this exact list. This is the same exact list that I was telling you. I had an investor friend that did the exact same search. She found a property. She only pulled a list. She only had 25 on her list and was able to cold call them. And so what we're going to do then is we're going to take this list. You're going to see that we're going to select them. So you're going to see there's going to be a little drop down. We can do multiple pages of 25 or we can select all 643. You're going to see that they're going to show up in the my lead section and we can spend more time on this guys in the future. This is just, it's, it's almost like I'm saying, get in the car. I'm going to show you the buttons. You don't, you don't have to be an expert driver today. This is what we're going to do coming up in the future. Once you guys are part of part of the software, then we can do follow-ups and we can do different things together. But what we're going to do is we're going to focus on, we're going to do our skip trace plus here. It's going to be for 15 cents. 
I'm just going to go to next and it's just going to give me the different terms and conditions. I'm just going to scroll down. And so for $96.45, so under $100, less than $100, I'm going to potentially get 643 different people, all of their contact information. I'm going to get their cell phones, their house phones, potentially email addresses, their relatives, all their contact information. I'm going to find their age if they've ever filed for bankruptcy. I'm going to see if they're alive or dead. I can see their IPs, IP addresses if I want to. I'm going to see such invasive information, but the goal is I'm going to get their phone number. And now it's up to me and I'm going to call them and set yourself a goal, guys. Do at least 50 to 100 phone calls a day. You could easily blast through this list in one to two weeks if you're if you're doing this super, super part time. You know, spend an hour in the evening and just start going through and you could literally call. 100 people a day or 50 people a day and you could get through this in less than two weeks and you will find leads. You will find people that will want to sell their property. I mean, it is it is unbelievable the results because if you guys are ready, if you're ready to be a wholesaler, if you're ready to be an investor, the things that we need first is we need good quality leads and these are going to be the good quality leads for us to be able to reach out to. Now you can remove them. You can start all over again. You can find other different properties. I saw that a lot of you were saying something about Phoenix. So let's go yep. to Phoenix and I'll show you a little bit about Phoenix. So we can come in here to hey, Phoenix. Jenna. Uh huh. Okay. Yep. Jenna, I'm going to come in a little bit here. Okay. So once again, you guys, I don't, once again, I want you guys to all understand that this is, this software is not free, right? Now, when it comes to skip tracing, it's up to you. I'm going to show you. I'm going to share with you the free way. But you get what you pay for. For those of you who say, Kong, well, you, sh you told me it's only $100. Right. The software is $100, right? Now, let me show you. If you like, Kong, I don't have, the, I don't have another $100 to skip trace. All I can say is, come on, man, shit. But here's what you're going to do. Go to truepeoplesearch.com. It's completely for free. But what you're doing now is you're plugging in one number at a time. So you're typing in one address at a time. So when it's free, it costs you a lot of your time, right? It's free. But you get what you pay for. So some majority of the time, the true people search is not very accurate. But I understand. Some of you don't have the extra money. You don't want to sell anything in your house to make ten, twenty thousand dollars $20,000, right? So you go to true people search. You punch in one address at a time. And then you use that. You call. And once again, I just want you guys to all understand, I'm going to give you the free way and the pay way. And it's totally up to you when it comes to skip tracing. I'm not here to like sell you guys on a bunch of stuff. That's not, that is not what this three days challenge is about. I want you guys to take actionable step. Here it is. Jenna told you where it is. Pull the list. What list to target already? You should already have a list already. All right. Now, once again, when it comes to skip trace, you can use this software to skip trace or you can go to true people search and you have to do one address at a time. With this software, you, you just upload the entire list. One push of a button, boom, it spits out more than just phone number. Go ahead, Jenna. Yep. And I mean, and that's exactly what it is. I mean, you can you can Google anybody's name and you could, you know, find their contact information. So um, it just how much how much time do you have to do that? So, I mean, I saw somebody was saying, like, how can you call 100 people a day? I mean, a lot of some of the people aren't going to answer the calls you you that you leave a message and you hang up or you don't even have to leave a message. You call the next one. You call the next one. You call the next one. We're going to be integrating a dialer into the system coming up. So you have that option, too, where you can just literally upload them into a dialer. It could call them. You can go through hundreds of, of calls a day, but it's all how much time you have. So if we want to focus on. Like, we're, Wait, go ahead. hold on, Jenna. So as you go, I want to say congrats. Look at William. Just skip trace my list already. You know, see, this, yes. this, this, is, this is what I love to see. Action taker. Because you know why it gets me so excited? Because that is me right there. Dude, I would have been, I, I would have been like, Jenna, I would have been like, Jenna, let's go. I'm already, I'm already ahead of the game, man. Let's go. You see, the, thi the, the thing is, you guys, you guys got to understand is that when you pay for software, it just makes things speed up. Right. So when you don't have the money, you just have to dial one number at a time. Yes, it takes time. You know, how, you know, how, you know how many phone call my V one of my VA makes in a day over a thousand phone call because they got a dialer because it costs money. Right. So we pay for the dialer. It costs 10 number at the same time. Whoever picks up, you talk to that person. But sitting there punching one number at a time. Right. To call a thousand people a day. It, it's a lot of work. But you know what, my friend? What do you want more? You want the 20K? 
or you want to make excuses. Hi, I don't have the time. My most recent students, Jenna, the guy, Jenna, he has he has all the odds against him. English was his second language. He know nothing about real estate. He doesn't even know how to talk and negotiate. His accents was terrible, terrible. He sound like uh, somebody from the freaking Asia, Philippines or whatever it is. Jenna, he made over a hundred thousand phone call. He just closed his most recent deal, two hundred and eighty-eight thousand dollars, just using the software. Wow, two two hundred eighty-eight thousand dollars, Jenna. He he could have took three years off and still be okay. Yeah, right. That's but, awesome. But but but, but, but yeah. And so so the thing was with him is I said, dude, how how like how did you stay so committed? He said, Kong, it's because. I was just sick and tired where I'm at, man. Like I left myself with, a, I, I either do this. I just don't want my, I, he doesn't want his old life anymore. He was just done, right? He had it up. And some of you, sometimes that's what it takes, right? To push yourself all the way to against the wall. You'll be like, shit. And it's the only way that you will change. Let me tell you guys, it's the only way that you will change and you will do whatever it takes and require and stop making excuses. It's when you left yourself with only one options and one options only is to succeed, period. Take over, Jenna. Yeah. Mike, Mike drop there. I mean, I don't, how do I, how do I follow that? I mean, <laughs> I, mean, <laughs> I, yeah. All right. So let's, let's get, let's, let's show this here. So a lot of you guys, I saw a lot of you were in Phoenix area. So let me show you another little secret nugget. This is going to be another recipe you guys can do. So we're leaving everything wide open. So, I mean, we can, we can turn off the individuals, you know, we can, we can, whatever your, your criteria is, but what we're, what we're going to do is we're going to go into this more tab. And so if you're, we're all the way at the top, we're going to go part way down about halfway down. And you're going to see one of my hottest favorite lists here last notice date. This is going to be for pre foreclosures. This is in everybody's software. So wh whatever version you have, we have access here. This is a way that we can see some of those different foreclosures and pre foreclosures. So what we're going to do is we're going to go here. We're going to go to the last three months. So what we're telling the software is give me all the people in the Phoenix, Arizona area that received a notice of default from the bank that they're delinquent on paying their mortgage in the last three months. We have 201 different people right here. Is as simple as that. So we can basically come in here, we can select anybody from the list. It will show you all the behind the scenes information on all the different properties. So we can see things like bed and bath count, who owns that property. We can see how long they've owned that property for, where they live if it's different from the subject property. We can see all their taxes information, zoning, parcel ID. And this is such a powerful section, guys. We're going to see this is something called an AVM, which is our automated valuation model. It's basically like our systems. Um, it's, it's our estimate that we place on the property as it sits. Now, it doesn't overshadow you pulling your own comps because I'll show you how you can do that right here in the system. So you can come in here and see potentially what it's worth potentially what they owe. We see that they have over a $200,000 equity spread in this property and it's in the pre-foreclosure process. This is such a hot person for us to reach out to. We can come down, see a lot of construction information, see if, you know, some different information there. But now we can see all the financials on this. This is literally like playing poker with somebody and sitting on their lap looking at their hand because we can see everything. Like we can see when they bought it, how much they paid, what their loan was, who the lender was. We can even see it was an FHA loan, a 30-year loan with a 4.5% interest. Anybody who does any creative financing and buys properties subject to, you can literally see what you're buying right here. So we can see this with any property you put in or any property that is in here in the system. So we can see all the information here. Then we can scroll down. We can see that they got their notice of default right before Christmas. It probably just really ruined Christmas for this family. And then you can see it's going to auction coming up here in March. Like this is our opportunity to reach out and save this person. We can help them get into something smaller. We can help them get into something more affordable and buy this property. But if we go all the way up to the top and the cool thing also, guys, this is something so cool. We're integrated with Google Maps. So let me uh, let me share this tab here with you. OK, so we're um, gonna... well, I, I, I'm but... sorry, Jenna. So while Jenna is about to show you that, I know someone just comment. Once Jenna got you guys all pulling the list, you got a list ready to go. I hope you have a list ready to go and everything. Before we wrap today up, 
Jenna's gonna show you guys how to run comps, and I'm 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 gonna show you how to make an offer right to the seller. All right, and that's gonna be what you guys are gonna walk away with today is have a list, skip trace that list, got the phone number ready to rock and roll. All right, and we will share with you different strategy. All right, which whatever you want to do, cold call, send SMS. We're gonna talk about that. And then the next thing is, so I'm going to show you exactly how to actually find, figure out, I know someone just comment, is how to find the ARV, which is what the property's worth, and then how to calculate your numbers so you can make offer to the seller. Because you're de- today, that's what you're going to be doing, all right, once we're done with this, and then we'll come back tomorrow. Go ahead, Jenna. Yeah, so with any property, you can just come in, you're going to see that there's going to be the comparable buttons, or you can even enter in a property. Let's say that you got a lead. Let's say somebody called you from your marketing and they said, hi, you know, I received uh, your your letter and, and I want to sell my property. It's in Jacksonville, Florida, and you start typing it in. You're going to see it's going to start pulling up all the different properties all across the country. We're going to hit save. It's going to take us into our database so we can come in here and you're going to see that we have the option to pull comps right here. Right now I'm in I'm in the organization part of the software so we can come in here. We can pull comps. It's going to pull all on market and off market properties, all pending, all active, all the different type of properties in your area, all in one place. You don't have to go back and forth to 20 different screens. Um, you know, so you, you're going to have, you know, the opportunity to really, really be organized here. So you're just going to come in here and then we're just going to say, OK, my property is a four bedroom, two bath. We can come in here and say, give me all the four bedroom, two baths. You can change your distance and kind of tighten it up. You can go further with the sky is the limit. If you want to go up to a year, if you want to be less than that, you can. But our goal is, is to be able to see all the different properties that have sold in the area. So we can come in here. We're integrated with Google. We're, we're in the process of, of doing all the MLS integrations. So once we do that, you'll be able to pull all the MLS images of all the different properties. But we can come in here. We can click on this direct link. It's going to show us all the images of the property. But just for demo purposes, let's say that we've kind of analyzed some of these different properties. Let's say that this one is a good comp. Maybe this one was a good comp. Maybe this one was a good comp. And so once you've added them, you've selected them, you're going to see it's going to give you an average sale price. Sorry, go ahead. Yep. So, um, and- Janet, right here. So let's talk about comps a little bit. For those of you who don't know how to run comps, Jenna, could you touch base with them? Kind of how do they figure out the ARV of the property? I, 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 I know you got that going on, but like how do they look at it to, to know what the property is worth and how do they compare? Yeah, so this is what I would do. So I'm going to come here and I have to share this tab here. So this is my subject property. What I want to do is I want to come in here and I want to know what my property looks like. So if you notice, we're integrated with Google. So I can see here. So this property was built in 1918. I'm going to click on this image. So I'm going to share this screen here. So it's going to basically take me there. This is so cool. You guys can virtually be at our property. So I can this is my subject property right here. I see it's an old historic, you know, 100 years old, you know, a nice southern type of property, two story. I can literally turn around. I can see what some of the surrounding properties look like. I can get a feel of how busy the street is. So I have a good idea of what I'm working with. Again, I see that I'm around 2000 square feet. And so when I come back to my my uh, property here, what I'm going to do is, again, I'm going to pull those comps. So I'm going to click on my comping button. Um, and, and if I'm not showing the right Wait. screen, just totally yeah, yell okay. at me Yeah, no, because <laughs> I'm like toggling back and forth to a lot of different screens here. Let me kind of get rid of some of these different ones up here. Well, get out Jenna, of the way. We actually don't see your screen right now. Okay. Let me yeah. come back here. All so right. once again, what you want to do is you want to compare apples to apples, right? So if your property that you put under that you're looking at is a three bedroom, two bath. You want to make sure that the comps is also a three bedroom, two bath. Now square footage, it can be a plus or minus a hundred, right? Yeah. So you can see my screen. I hope so. You can yep, see my yep. screen here. So yeah. So I can tell the system, give me all, cause I see I'm a, a four bedroom, two bath. I have, you know, a little under 2000 square feet. If I scroll over, I have a third of an acre built in 1918. So this is important for me to know that. So I can come in here. You can go further than a mile. You can go less than a mile. You know, we can tighten up our square footage if you want to narrow it down a nice. little bit more. If you want to go more than six months, you can. If you want to go less than six months, you can. 
And then if I have a single family, obviously I want to look for single family properties. I want to narrow that down. And then we can come in here and say, all right, maybe the most that I want to go is a property built in 1940, if mine's from like 1920-ish. So I want to be able to have as similar of a property as possible. Now, what I can do is I can click on any one of these different properties. So I can click on this one. Let me share this tab here. And so it's going to take me directly to, you know, to Google. It's going to search this property. It's going to give me a feel so I can start looking at these images and start getting a feel like this almost looks like what our property would look like if it didn't look like Jurassic Park with all the shrubs and everything grown over it. Um, you know, and we can get a feel. So I need to figure out what is my exit strategy? Is, do I I mean, this one is probably almost identical. It has all the original woodwork. Most likely it's going to be from the same era as ours. You know, nice chandeliers, beautiful original hardwood floors like this would probably be a very, very good comparable property updated. Looks like somebody flipped this property. So something like this would be a great property for us to be able to to consider for a comp. So I would give this one a thumbs up. Then I would do the same thing with all of them. I would want to go and virtually look at them. I want to see the pictures. I want to see the image. I want to come over here and I want to make sure that I like this one. Mine's from 1918. That was from 1909, 1916, 1909, 1916. Like this is from the same era. And so let's just kind of say that maybe this one was a good comp. Maybe this one ends up being a good comp. So we can select those. And the nice thing about the system, it's going to give us an average sell price. And then it's going to give us the option that we can download our report. So we can put this together. It's going to put together a beautiful PDF document for us that we can share with our team. We can share with lenders. So let me see if, if I can share this tab here with you okay, guys. So, so it's going to um, put wait for you. Got it. Okay. So now when we're pouring comps, typically, guys, I want to stay within half a mile if possible, because the closer you are to your property that you're looking to make an off from, the better it is. So typically you want to stay within half a mile. And if you can't find comps, you can go out a mile, right? In my opinion, half a mile to a mile max. Those are very strong comps. Um, I know some property are in like the rural area, so you might have to go even further out. And if that's the case, then you might also have to call some realtor to confirm um, the ARV of the property. But typically, if you're in a good area, it's just half a mile to a mile radius. You're solid. Go ahead, Jenna. Yep. So, I mean, I just narrowed the search down. So you can see it looks like one of our properties is still on here, you know, the 428 one. But again, you know, so we can look at it. We can click on any one of these and we can see what those properties looks like. But um, but it will put together a really nice PDF document for us. We can share that with our team. We can share that with potential lenders. We can share that with maybe a wholesale buyer if you want to provide that detail of a comp report for your wholesale buyer. But the goal is, is for us to be able to have a nice, accurate idea of what this property will sell for. And, and this is going to be with any property you put into the system. So you can put in any property, you can re, you can pull comps on any property that we're going to be researching together from our database. But the goal is, guys, is to take action. The goal is for you to go to dealsformenow.com, select whichever package you feel is financially um, comparable to what you're able to do. So whether it be the $97 package or the $199 package, either way, you have the option to still upgrade if you want additional artificial intelligence territories, if you want to do different things. But the, the goal is to, to, to do something today, to go in there, find those. I showed you numerous different ways that we can find those motivated sellers. So we can come in here. You can find all the different absentee owners. You can find different active listings that are on the market, cash buyers. We'll talk about that coming up, the delinquent tax activity. So there's going to be so many different ways that we can find these motivated people add them into your lead list, skip trace them and start calling. And that's going to be our day one. Our day one assignment is to actually take action here. So I'm going to stop sharing my screen. I'm going to come back to you. Love and, it. Um, yeah. So here's, so here's what I want to know from all of you that are still here. Let's go ahead and go over everything. Comment in and let me know, did you already sign up and pull a list? That's number one. All right. Number two, how big is your list? Once again, you can list, so Jenna told, uh, went through list that. So you don't have a whole lot of capital, right? You might want to narrow in on the list, tighten up the list, which means you list stack it so that way the seller has multiple pain points, all right? So I want to know, is comment in, did you pull the list, all right? How big is your list? So now that you got a list, you got a target already. 
Number three is that obviously have you skip trace the list, right? You should get a nice list of phone number and email. Now I want to talk about is making offer. All right. So comment in and let me know. Like I, um, I, I'm going to take a few minutes, just kind of go through here and see here. Um, Jenna, if you want to uh, read some of the comments here, and then I'm going to talk to you guys about now looking at how do we know what to offer to the seller, right? Because I want, because the goal for you to walk away from this is I'm, there's two things right now on my team that my VA are doing. We only cold call and we SMS because cold calling SMS is going to be the cheapest and the fastest way for you to get in front of a seller. Because if you talk about postcard, direct mail, postcard is going to cost you about 50, 50, 50 cents. Sending them a letter is going to cost you about a dollar. But it takes you know, three to four days right, for the postcard or the letter to be dropped in their mail. So I believe that Cold calling and to SMS is the quickest way to do it. And I know some of you will ask me, well, Kong, which way should we do? Should we cold call? Should we SMS? I would do both. If you have the capital to send out text message or, or you can just do it straight from your phone, right? I would do both. All right. So now I want to talk about is, um, Jenna, if, if you can go through and I guess uh, read some questions. I, I saw a couple as Jenna single. I don't think that that's probably what we're talking about on here. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Somebody is asking about how do we skip trace? Um, so for us to skip trace, is it okay if I just do a yep. real quick show yep. that for a second here? Yes, please. Um, all right. So let me turn my screen sharing on here. So let me do my lead pipe. So let me share this. So somebody had requested that I focus on Middlesex County in New Jersey. Okay. So I just typed in that, that particular county. I came into the artificial intelligence score. I just typed in my 900 number. I still have almost 1,774 properties. If this is too big, then come in here and add in something like absentee owner or delinquent tax activity or throw in vacancy or 11, that's too, too low. So, you know, if we want to throw in like, you know, absentee owner. So it all depends on, you know, how big you want it to be. But what we're going to do is we're just going to go to this drop down. So you're going to see it right beside the word distance. And so you're going to come here. We're going to select all of them or you can do multiple pages of 25. So we're going to select all of them. You're going to see that they're, they're going to show up in the my lead section at the top right. You'll just come in here. You're just going to select the skip trace plus option. And then you're going to see it's going to be for 15 cents. We'll just go to next. It's going to, we're going to scroll down and it's going to, we're just going to accept it. And so you're going to see $116 and 10 cents. Now this is going to keep you busy for quite a while. If you're doing, if you're dialing solely from your, your cell phone. So this can take you maybe a week or two for you to go through and call them. If you're devoting maybe an hour a day to this is, is a good rule of thumb, at least an hour a day, guys. I mean, a lot of times people say, well, I don't have the time for that. Well then how much time are we spending on social media? How much time are we spending uh, watching Netflix or doing things like that? It all comes down to how bad do you want this? How bad do you want to have a different lifestyle? How bad do you want a, a 200 and what well, you said, a $288,000, is yep. that what it was? 200 yep. something thousand uh, dollar wholesale deal. Like this is the secret recipe. Doing the things consistently that not a lot of people want to do is the secret to success. And then you can come in here once you're done, you can remove them from your list. Then you can start all over again with a different area. So it's just selecting them and then skip tracing them is how we're going to be able to do the skip tracing. Love it. And once again, I'm going to go over. So that is the pay way. The free way is go to truepeoplesearch.com. That is free. But once again, you get what you pay for because I know it's not as accurate as if you were to pay for the information. But I want to give you guys the options. Now, let me share with you guys my schedule. When I first started my real, real estate career, here's my schedule. For all of you excuse maker, dude, it's, if you, it's probably better you just stick to the J O the B, to be honest with you. I hate people who make excuses. I know, I know that when I get on social media and when I just talk and be me and be real, I, um, Jenna, I got canceled. Um, well, I, I shouldn't say canceled, but I got banned multiple times on TikTok because I, <laughs> Because uh, because everyone that comes to me with an excuse, Jenna, I say, go to, dude, just stick to the J O the B, man. Because let me tell you guys my schedule. I went to work at a J O B five o'clock in the morning, 5 a.m. I wake up at four. And then obviously it takes me 30 minutes to get to work. I get off at 1.30 p.m., drive home 30 minutes. I take a shower. I eat. Lon and I, at the time, we had a little kiosk in the mall selling hair extension. 
and the hair strainer. That's why you see Lon selling that right now on her TikTok shop, right? For those of you who follow me. Dude, I would come in. I'll take over for Lon so Lon can go home and eat and rest. I would work from 3 p.m. until 9 p.m. That's what, what, what time the mall closed. And then I get off from 9 p.m. I go home. I eat really fast. Then I jump on my computer. Dude, from 9.30 all the way until 1 o'clock in the morning. Do you, know, do you guys know how long I did that for? A year. And you're here whining and complaining like a little bitch where you can't even put in one hour a day? Do you put in eight hours a day to make someone else is rich? Jenna and I only asked you to put in one hour to make yourself rich, to become financially free. And all you hear is making excuses, man. And some of you that are here making excuses, you shouldn't even show up. You're just wasting your time. And then you get everyone else, like, discouraged. You know, Jenna, someone D uh, DM me and said, hey, Kong, you know what, man? You tell me about wholesaling, but there's a realtor in my area said that wholesaling doesn't work, and it's illegal. Dude, your guys' problem is that, dude, you're getting your information from someone that have never done it. So I told the guy, well, dude, ask the realtor, have they wholesale a deal before? If the answer is no, then why the hell are you listening to them? It makes no sense. A lot of you, dude, you, you, a lot of you, you want to make $100,000 a year, and you're asking advice or a million dollars a year, and you're asking advice from people who are making 50000 a year. If you want to make a million a year, you're asking people who make 100000 a year, how, how are they going to be able to show you? You know, and, and, and people would be okay paying hundreds of thousands of dollars, going to college, spending four to eight years, just to come out to make 100000 a year. And you're here spending $100 to make $20,000. And you're whining and complaining like a little bitch. <laughs> you know, my whole thing, Jenna, is my whole, my, my whole thing is, man, there's only two choices you have in life, my friend. You either get rich or be a little bitch. And here's what I mean. You either be the boss or you work for a boss. That's it. Since the day that you're born, man, you're either working for someone or you work for yourself. The choice is yours. And I can tell you right now, only the people who don't make excuses. Dude, I've never ran into any millionaires multi-millionaire, successful people that make excuses. They all start out not knowing. None of us know how to walk, but we learn how to walk. None of us know how to learn how to drive a car, but we figure it out when we learn how to drive a car, if you want to get around. So, dude, if you want to, make it, if you want to get rich, you know nothing about wholesaling. That's why you're here. So I want to wrap this up by talking to you guys how do uh, we come up with an offer to the seller. So you take the ARV, right, which I already told you how to run the comparables. So you take the ARV. Let's just say the property is $100,000. And typically, now you have to know your market. How hot is your market? Like in my market, I can get away with just 20%. And here's what I mean. Which mean, that, which mean is if the property is worth $100,000, most of my investor would like to make about 20% on their money. So, but I'm just going to use the rule of thumbs. All right, the rule of thumbs is around the whole entire U.S. We would have to go with around the 30%. So if you take 100,000 minus 30%, you automatically take 30% off because that's how much they want to make. Now you're at 70,000. And let's just say that the property needs 10,000 in repair. You minus another 10,000 in repair, which means that investor would buy that property for 60,000. Comment in and let me know that you're following me. So which means that the investor would buy for 60K. Anything you get under 60K is your to wholesale. So let's just say that you're able to get the seller to come down to 40,000. And then you would send it out to your investor for 60,000. So now you're making a $20,000 profit. Make sense? So let's just say that you know the investor is going to buy that property in that market for 60K. And you're only able to get the seller to come down 58,000 which means you're only going to make about $2,000 on that deal. Make sense? Okay, everyone is good. They understand that now that you understand the formula and actually how to look at how to analyze the property, you got a list. You skip trace the list already. All right, now you know how, what, what to offer to the seller. You know how to find out the ARV of the property, comparables. The next thing is you got to, you, now we're going to focus on, so after today, you got the list. You, get, you know exactly what to do. Cold call or SMS. Those are your two options. You either do cold call 
or you do text blast, which is you're, you're, you're just sending a seller text, and here's what you say in the text. And after this, we're wrapping it up. So in the text message, all you're going to say is going to be a genetic, g- genetic. My name is John Kong, whatever it is your name is. My name is Luis. I work with, you know, my name is Luis. I work with a group of investor who are interested in making you a free, no risk, no obligation cash off on your property. If you're interested, give me a call or text me back. Very simple as that. You don't tell them, hey, I know you're in pre-foreclosure. Dude, it's, all, it's, it's almost like you're, 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 you're a collection agency by coming after them. They're not going to pick up the phone. They're not going to answer you. Jenna, um, you know what? Let's everybody thanks Jenna because I don't want to hold Jenna up. So everybody, dude, applause to Jenna. Thank oh, you so hey, much. I, I was, I'm enjoying. I'm enjoying and listen to you. Oh, okay, okay. So what you're going to do is that you just simply say, hey, my name is whatever it is. We want to make you a free, no risk, no obligation cash offer. Call me or text me back. Boom. They call you back. They text you back. If you're at work, send, send a text message. Um, if you're at work, don't worry about picking up your phone. Just let them all go to your voicemail. And then when you see it's coming from a seller, dude, take some time, go to the bathroom, listen to some voicemail. And if it's a hot lead, call them back and lock that property under contract. And that's so that's day one. I want you guys to all comment in and let me know. Number one, you got your list. Number two, did you skip trace? Number three, how big is your list? And then number four is which one are you going to do? SMS, cold call, or you're going to do both? Jenna, you have anything you want to say? No, I love your energy. Like Aww. everybody is so fortunate to, to be here because not, not a lot of people say it so, so transparent as you did. Just, I mean, Aww. because... I, I, you have so much knowledge and everybody is just so fortunate to be able to learn from somebody like you. It's, you're the crack the whip kind of a coach and a a fantastic mentor where you're going to say what people need to hear, not always what they want to hear, but a lot of times we need to hear that kind of stuff because otherwise we're always going to be in the same place at the same time next year if we don't do something different and and this is going to be what somebody can do different this is going to be what what somebody can do like a lot of times people think well how could I, how, how do i learn this what do i do first this is that first step this is going and, and having the opportunity to learn from somebody like you somebody who doesn't have the excuses like you know and and kind of like i mean i don't have that that long of a of a work day like you had when you were working and doing all these different things but i mean i had had different jobs where i was putting in tons and tons of hours like that in my past life and you just have to get to a point where you're just sick of it and you just have to make a no exceptions like this is what i want and anything that doesn't look like that i have to say no to and so just being able to come in here, find these different deals, analyze them, and then come back and obviously join the next two days so that that way everybody's going to learn more. The questions that everybody's going to have, you're going to be answering those over the next two days. So take a breath, everybody, and just know that you're going to learn so much more over these days. And then you always have the opportunity to learn more from working with you. So I'm, I'm honored and privileged to be able to know you. So I'm excited. Jenna, I thank you so much. I appreciate it. And once again, you guys, this is just day one. We're going to come back tomorrow, same time, day number two, all right, and then day number three. But once again, for those of you who stay all the way into day number three, I got a very, very special offer, gift I've never done before that I'm going to announce on day number three. But tomorrow, we're going to come back, and I'm going to show you the strategies, basically, dude, how to talk, how to negotiate with the seller to get them to drop price like it's hot. When you don't have to talk, when you don't have to negotiate, my friend, your conversion rates is going to be a lot higher. So that's going to be tomorrow. Same link. Yes, the same link. You're going to join the same link, same time. Now, you know, Jenna, I was was brought up in an Asian family. So my dad and mom were very tough, right? I see kids in today's world. They get in trouble. They just get grounded. That's what American people do. I get whipped, right? So... That's why when I teach, and I'm a high school dropout, Jenna, so I don't have like high vocab. I'm not like super educated guy. So I don't like whatever, whatever's in, like whatever goes in here, I'm just going to say it. I, I don't filter. I, I don't do any, right? So my, so my whole thing is some people say that Kong, they're hardcore. Well, that's just how I teach, right? So that's, that's just me, how I teach. I have called like 
Jenna, I've gone on to meeting with my students. And I, I literally would call them out. And I would say, dude, you sound like a little bitch right now. Right? Dude, like, did you, did you used to grow did, oh, they're like, well, Kong, you know, I grew up this, my mom. Dude, I used to catch frogs for dinner. I was born in a mud hut. Where were you born? Hospital. You got air conditioner. Dude, I used to take shower in the rain. I, I remember, you, you, and a lot of you be like, well, why does Asian eat so fast, dude? Because sometimes, dude, if you're the slowest eater on the table, you, you, there's nothing left for you. So, so, Jenna, I was brought up in a very tough environment. That's why, like, I don't like snowflakes. I don't want softy. I want people who are determined, who has the grit, who knows that, dude, success is not easy. All right? And a lot of you will be like, well, three days, if I don't get a deal, so I'm going to quit. You're going to be a little bitch. I I'm telling you right now, winners never quit. And quitters will never win. Jenna, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you. And I want to see all of you back tomorrow, day number two, same time, same, same link. Thanks, Jenna. Thanks, Jenna. Thanks for having me. Yep. Have a good one. Bye. Appreciate all of you. I'll see you guys tomorrow.